hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people we really appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country Ayodele Fayoshe, um, former governor of Kitty State, has uh, uh, um, come up um, with something um, really interesting. He has called uh, uh, um, the, the, the National Assembly, um, the Speaker, and even the House of Representatives as well. He has called all of them toothless bulldogs. Quite interesting. We know regarding the insecurity issues that have been going on in the country with the most recent um, the massacre of... Um, farmers innocent farmers in Bernou state um the national assembly has called president mohammed buhari um to uh, uh, to come in and give um, explanations and details of um, the step he's going to take um regarding the insecurity and how to curb this insecurity and how to end it and also um, the national assembly has also called that it is time that they don't know what what um, buhari is doing and why he has refused up to now to um, fire the service chiefs. You know, that has been ongoing for some time that Buhari needs to fire the service chiefs. It looks like they're incompetent because series of attack from one to another, that is how it has been happening around the country um, in the last um, couple of uh, 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 months. Right now, um, Ayodele Fayoshe is stating that um, uh, um, he will be very surprised if Buhari honors their invitation. Most probably, he knows the sort of person Buhari is. We know um, Fayoshe is a PDP chieftain, but at some point, it will look as though he's supporting the All Progressive Congress. Sometimes, it's difficult to tell where his, his loyalty lies because they have issues um, with some um, PDP members, and it looks like he's supporting some APC members. But right now, he's calling up the National Assembly, calling all of them toothless bulldogs. It's quite interesting. We'll get more details as to all that the former governor of Ekiti State has stated regarding the insecurity issues in the state and regarding the call for President Mohamed Buhari to present himself before the house and then um, give details. But before we do guys, please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Thank you once again. Yes, we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details. Ayodele Fayoshe, a former governor of Ekiti State, has labored members of the House of Representatives as mere toothless bulldogs that only exist on paper in the eyes of President Mohamed Buhari. Fayoshe made the claim while reacting to a resolution by the House of Representatives to invite the President to brief the House on the true state of security in Nigeria. According to him, he would be surprised if Buhari honors their invitation. Daily Post recalls that the decision to summon President Buhari was taken at Tuesday's plenary. The House considered a motion moved by members from Bernou State on the recent killings of 43 rice farmers by Boko Haram insurgents. The debate became rowdy after the Speaker, Femik Bajabiamila, said it would be inappropriate to invite Buhari to disclose the actions being taken towards handling the security situation in the country. Bajabiamila described it as counterproductive. Reacting to the development, Fayoshe, in a tweet via his Twitter handle on Tuesday, said, I'll be surprised if the president honors the House of Rep's invitation. The National Assembly is supposed to be representing the people should know by now that in the eyes of this president, they only exist on paper because they are mere toothless bulldogs. Some of those Rep's members at the forefront of the invitation of the president to appear before the House should expect EFCC invitation, freezing of their accounts, or arrest for plotting to bring down the legitimate government of the president. I warned, Fayoshe tweeted. Wow, this one is, uh, is, is really, really serious. Uh, politics in Nigeria is so sad the way politics is run. It looks like um, some persons are above the law. I mean, in a time like this, I don't think it's out of place. If um, the House of Representatives and the National Assembly are calling for President Mohamed Buhari 
to appear and at least brief the people because he's uh, the commander in chief. He should brief the the, the 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 people what is going on. These are these guys. They are representing um the citizens of Nigeria, the House of Representatives. That is why they are called reps. So they they would need to know what is going on. And I don't think, like I said, I don't think that is out of place. But Fire Shea as well, being a seasoned politician, a former governor of um, Ekiti State, has stated that these guys, they, it's like they don't know who they are dealing with. That is what he's saying. In other words, that they don't know who they are dealing with, that they, are, they think they are reps, but those their position is just on paper. Meaning that being on paper, they don't even carry weight. They can't even summon the president. Wow, it, it's so sad. That is why we see that things are not getting better. The country is even getting worse because Buhari is above the law. No one can even summon him down to come and explain or give details. For over a, a, a while now, there's been calls that the service chiefs should be fired. Buhari has refused to do that and no one has even made any move to to call him to order to say this we've all agreed that the service chiefs should be fired why are they not being fired what is going on uh fire she is for warning them right now he's stating that um, you guys you've put yourself in trouble you are calling president buhari it looks like you don't know who you are dealing with be ready for efcc invitation but guys, Fire Shade that is saying this, all of these guys, that means their hands are not clean. Because if their hands are clean as well from corruption, then they shouldn't fear anything. Because Fire Shade is for warning them, be ready, the EFCC is going to be inviting all of you one after the other. Your accounts will be frozen for plotting to bring the president down. It's so shameful. We see that, we can see, we can tell. Fire Shade has just them um, explained it all. How the country is run. Buhari doesn't care. He's not even bothered. You know, even the killings in Bornu State that sparked up um, all of this, uh, this invitation right now. Buhari did not even visit Bornu State. He only sent a delegate. Why will he send a delegate? This man does not have any sympathy. He doesn't have any uh, um, human... I don't understand. I don't know what to even call it, but it's so sad. Guys, uh, uh, um, uh, um, um, Fire Shea has just finished the House of Reps, called them toothless bulldog. They are just backing, but they can't do anything. Buhari will not appear and they will not be able to do anything. Rather, they will be the ones to face the wrath of um, Buhari's um, administration. APC has really finished this country. It's really sad. Guys, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. We really appreciate uh, um, you staying tuned. God bless you. Please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye for now and god bless